بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم so somebody put a suggestion suggestion box so it could be from the morning it could be from the evening but my my son went towards the evening class i don't know why i got ishara so they suggested that we should say we should have what we should have uh, al qalam branded merchandise hoodies pencil cases water bottles and bags so mashallah i think this um, stems from a good place yes this stems from a good place why would you want that if you like the murjasa you love your murjasa that's why you would have such a thought that come to your mind that you know i want to have a you know you like murjasa and to have love for your murjasa to have love for your institute to have love for um, your teachers is very important because they are you studied by them you study by them they have taught you uh, some of them go through a lot of effort to teach to prepare lessons to you know get lessons for you some people don't even teach you but for example the administration obviously here is different but some places like uh, have to go for funding building secure um, health and safety so a lot of work in the gulf even in maktab some teachers they go to work during the day from 9 to 5 and they from quickly get back early and then they come back to madrasa it's not easy teaching is a very very difficult job So you should have a lot of value for your teachers. You should always, always do. Um, what do you call it? We should always send sadaqah on behalf of our teacher. Do sal sawab, send sadaqah, send sawab to our teacher, for our teachers in month of Ramadan every all the time. Because why? Our teachers are the one who convey knowledge to us. Our parents, our teachers, they don't the convey knowledge to us. So you have a great burden upon upon the, the teachers, our teachers, all of us. Our teachers have a great burden upon us. We should always remember them, make du'a for them, do sadaqah when they go umrah, do tawaf, do udhiyah on their behalf. We say make du'a for them. Yes. Uh, your institute, without an institute, you should have love for your madrasa because without without an institute, um, like a class, if you only got one person, it's different. You got a class of ten people, twelve people. What happens? Everybody bounces off each other. Somebody asks a question. Somebody brings something different. You know, somebody maybe maybe quiet in the class, but they bring baraka, they tell of the sincerity. So everything. So having love for your teacher is very important. Having love for your classmates is very important. Having love for the institute is very important. So I'm assuming that this this um this suggestion came from a very good place. However, we should also uh, we should also uh, understand that our institutes, our our attribution to our institutes, our attribution to our teachers, our attribution to certain um, fields or certain thoughts or certain groups should never become or should not even even have the slightest hint of hisbia, of groups, of cults, of like some kind of like you know speciality. One person asking my Malik rahmatullah hale, what's the sign of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jamaa? Something like I can't remember the exact word. I remember reading it somewhere. He said, "Ahlu Sunnah wal Jamaa is the people who have no who have no alama. We're the default. Is that Imam Malik or not other people? Like there's nothing that defines us. Just the name. That's what we are. When you say, okay, you have this extra this extra belief or this extra thing, then that's like that's not part of the standard. The standard is that we don't have any. If you have any defining characteristics, you understand? We shouldn't have any of those. We should try to make it has to be. We're all one. We're one one Muslim Ummah." So we should not try to even obviously it's not to create borders or anything, but even that slight thing that would create a border or create okay, oh yeah, you're this one, one group or one party or one madrasa or one thing. That's something that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't like. You understand? So even that like Ansar and Muhajirun. So Ansar and Muhajirun, a very good title. Allah gave them Muhajirun uh, and Ansar from the Quran. But if this is used to like create different, then this title was used to create okay, Yalan Ansar, Yalan Muhajirun. So we should try to avoid this. There's one. There's one. Somebody sent me a little clip. I can't remember the clip, but it was it was, it was a joke. So one person was com- was on a on a bridge. He wanted to commit suicide. So another person went up to him and said, "Don't don't do this, brother. Don't don't kill yourself because I'm. A, are you Muslim? Because yes, I'm Muslim. Because I'm a Muslim as well. Because I'm oh, really. Because yes. Because you're Sunni, you're Shia. Because I'm a Sunni. Because I'm Sunni as well. So then he goes, yes, you see. He goes, and then he started asking me little questions. He goes, I wish we fit me follow. I'm Hanafi. I come the exact words. He goes, I'm Hanafi, I'm Hanafi as well. Because I'm Hanafi as well, and he started getting a bit more, and then he started talking more and more, and then he goes, uh, a different thing, and he goes, and they found out they got a lot more in common, and he goes, which, and they they're from the same city, and he goes, which masjid from Salain? He goes, this masjid, and he goes, not like, did you manage to throw him off the, to throw him off the thing? But you from that masjid, you're kafir, you get it? So it doesn't depict how, that how we we have so much in common, but then he's from one masjid, he's from the other masjid, he goes, you should die anyway, because you're from the other masjid, you're from the other opposite opposing masjid, and you threw him off the bridge. So that's what we become, uh, you know. Uh, We on 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 grounds of which madrasa you studied, which teacher you think by, which which preferred, 
Yes. So again, you should have love for what you do if you, when you, in your whatever, so whatever, whatever association you're in, whatever murdersa you're in, whatever institute you're in. If it's not murdersa, you do some kind of charity work. You have to have that. Without that love for that place, you're never going to do anything. But 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 the teachings of Islam and the teachings of these things, the common teachings are much far beyond this. Yes. So even for example, when you have some money from Azhar University, the Azhari, if you say as a time of like a, like a fakhr, I'm Azhari fakhran, that's not a good thing. If you say Azhari ta'arufan, no problem. Now, how do you know where I'm graduated from? I'm Azhari. If you say I'm from Deoban, so we call it Deoban, you say Qasmi. That's, it's ta'aruf, that's fine. So you know where you graduated from. Saharanpur, Saharanfuria, whatever. You have these different titles. Yes. That's, you have Ethiopia, so you're ta'aruf. Yes. So even so to try to, not to try, but anything which, um, which kind of uh, creates this. It's not a good thing. It's not something recommended. Not Muslim. Not haram. It's just my own idea. So, al qalam is everything. Al qalam is nothing. It's nothing. Is this, is this, a, this is a name for getting together and study? And you have to have a name because people know which place you go to study. But it's not nothing special about this. Nothing special about here. Nothing special. I think it's it's what you do. Yeah. So if we don't do anything good, what's the point of having a name? Yes. It's about what you do in that Are you studying properly? Are you doing ilm? Are you doing amal? Yes. I remember this one time they, they were saying that they were saying they were talking. My teacher was saying that. Even when you have football tournaments between Mardisas, don't call it a Mardisa name. Don't say this Mardisa, that Mardisa. Why? Because you don't want, like, say, okay, like a battle between. You have a football team, make football teams. Brilliant. You have a football tournament, the kids get together and they play and they have prizes and all that. It's a good get to get the kids together to get involved. But try not to name them by the Mardisa team. Why? You say, oh, this Masjid Fala, we beat Masjid Fala, we beat Masjid Noor, we beat Jamal Masjid. That, that's even creating a kind of a. So if you want big teams, and then don't name them by the Mardisa. Don't name them by that. Why? Any small thing that will create a small little. Uh, kind of, you know, tough walk or trying to. Uh, sm- it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's only a football game, but anything. Because why? The the you, our our madaris and our association to sh- different shuyukh and different uh, things. It's not cults that we make ourselves. We attribute to them because that's where we got our knowledge from. That's where we get our study from. That's where we get our knowledge from. So we attribute to them. But it's not like a cult that we are better than anybody else. Are they inferior to us? Or superior to us? Who's who's akrabakum in Allah? Akrabakum in Allah is atqaqum. Who has the most taqwa? In ilm, whoever works hardest. If you study al-qalam, you study al-qalam or al-kitab. Whatever you want to study, it doesn't matter. If you work hard and you acquire knowledge, you practice upon your knowledge, you teach your knowledge, that is your ta'aruf. Yes? To try to um, create anything which will cause a, a distinction. A distinction, that's not good. You're all Muslims, you're all one. Kuluna sawa. Yeah, so that's my response. So I thought it was a, it was a, it was a very sincere, hopefully a sincere uh, suggestion. But I thought the, the answer would be probably more, but it would be good uh, to explain to everybody why these kind of things are not, it's not good, inshallah. Yes? Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallah wa bihamdi, kawm, inshallah, ilaha illa, inshallah, astaghfirullah, wa natubu ilayka.